when it comes to vulnerability, it is, to me, it's in alignment with life in so many ways because vulnerability in itself is a process. It's an unfolding, it's uh, uh, unpacking in a lot of ways of, and rediscovering, which is to me very exciting. It's, it's such a beautiful connection as you're saying it's it's through because it's it's a connection it's a deeper level of connection to self because and the reason why that's important is because we can only be so we can only be as connected to someone else as we are to ourselves and i know that was something when we first met uh, you know there was a, a connection and a feeling but it also felt so far away that was because at least for me it was because i felt so far away from myself the more that i opened up to myself and allowed and loved myself, uh, you know, through all the flaws, through all the experiences and let go of this idea of perfection, knock down this uh, facade of a wall and started building this transparent force field of vulnerability that, that got closer and connected to myself. Then that opened the door for us to reach greater levels of uh, connection and depth. Yes. And as a superpower, it's amazing how the moment you reflect that superpower within yourself, if you're vulnerable, it immediately disarms anything that's happening with someone else. It's really challenging if someone is upset with you and is kind of coming at you saying, you did this and you did this and you did this, and you are vulnerable enough to say, I know that I messed up and I'm not perfect. Perfectionist would not say I'm not perfect. <laughs> so to be able to say I'm not perfect and I messed up in this situation, I am actively seeking to grow and this is what I'm doing in order to do that. But this is what I'm taking away from this situation. Can you help me understand more as I'm growing? This is what I've experienced. This is what I experienced in this situation. Can you help me? Very rarely would somebody continue. Now, I'm not saying there aren't some people who are just out to attack. Mm -hmm. It happens. But not very many. So most people would take that vulnerability and go, wow, okay, yes, let me help you grow and then be inspired to potentially do the same thing going forward to go, wow, I just saw someone strong enough to step up and say that they recognized they had room for growth. How can I do the same thing? And get inspired by that, especially in close connected relationships. We do it to each other all the time. And I've noticed in my own family that the moment I started taking personal responsibility and was vulnerable and transparent in the areas that I was finding I needed to grow and then not holding what I was noticing my family was placing on me in areas where they had an opportunity to grow, not pointing it out to them, not saying you need to grow here because that doesn't really help either, right? But not holding it either. So if someone would come at me in my direct family circle and say, well, you didn't do this right, but I had done something from my perspective correctly, not apologizing for it and simply saying, thank you for your perspective and letting it be that. Not pointing something out to them that, well, you didn't give me all the information or, well, there was this or this. I didn't need to prove myself. I could simply say, thank you for the information or thank you for your perspective and move on and not hold their room for growth on that unless they asked me for it. 
but the more they would see me owning my part, they then would start to come forward and say, hey, what can I do differently here? What do, what have you noticed about me in this situation? And it created vulnerability from both sides then. Does that make sense? 